Since the launch of OpenAI's public beta of ChatGPT, AI has taken the world by a storm. Every single app, every company, every sector has doubled down on AI. But the bigger question remains the same. Can AI do more than just replacing designers and developers? Can AI do something for humanity? Can AI actually prevent or maybe even win a war for you? But what exactly can AI do in defense? So picture this, autonomous drones flying reconnaissance missions, surveillance systems detecting threats faster than your Wi-Fi connects, and algorithms making decisions in real time. It's like giving your PlayStation a combat scale upgrade. This is the story of Andrew a startup that is going to change the face of US military by leveraging AI. Andrew industry is a brainchild of Palmer Lucky, the same guy who created Oculus VR and introduced the masses to the world of virtual reality. After selling his VR company to Facebook, Palmer decided to take a stab at defense technologies. In 2017, Andrew was labeled as the most weird tech company on the planet. And fast forward to 2024, the company is raising $1.5 billion in investment at a valuation of 125 billion billion dollars. From autonomous drones to advanced surveillance systems, Andrew is reshaping the battlefield. Today, Andrew has a wide range of weapon systems, Roadrunner, Fury, Ghost, Altius, Counter UAS, Counter Intrusions, Maritime Counter Intrusions, Sanitary Towers, and Rocket Monitors. They have it all covered and that is just the beginning. At the heart of all of these weapon systems, there's Lattice AI, an autonomous operating system that integrates data from various sensors to provide a comprehensive situational awareness picture. But more on that later. We have to go back to 1990, when the US had undergone a massive defense contractors consolidation, forming the big five that covers the entire defense ecosystem. The five big names are Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Northrop Grumman, Raytheon Technologies, and General Dynamics. The total budget of Pentagon's military might, which is more than $800 billion, these are the five main contractors that are working with Pentagon. But now, Andrew is changing that. There are two major things that Andrew has exploited. The one is speed and the second one is the way all these big five companies are operating and working with the Department of Defense. So Andrew is disrupting the defense industry by combining Silicon Valley speed with the military might. They are all about rapid development and iterative improvements. Think of it like your software updates but for the defense tech. And the second is how the business is being done today. All these defense contractors work at a cost plus contract system. They're paid for time, materials, workforce, and then a fixed percentage of profit on top. Because that profit is a plus, a lot of vendors are incentivized for the cost portion to be as large as possible as well. They can often make more money when something takes longer than it was supposed to. They can often make more money when they sell a solution that's more expensive rather than a solution that's less expensive. And this wouldn't be a huge problem if there was real competition. And Rail's business model is another key factor in this disruptive success. They focus on creating scalable software-centric solutions, unlike hardware-heavy traditional defense models. And Rail's software-first approach allows for easier updates and improvements, making their system more adaptable and future-proof. So that means And Rail only ever gets paid when the product is ready. So they are incentivized to speed things up. This is also due to the nature of the investors that they have. And REL is backed by traditional VCs who understand the importance of startup ecosystem, risk profiles, and the importance of speed. In the last three years, VCs have deployed more than $100 billion into the defense tech and this is only gonna get increased. And REL and all the defense tech startups are still very small player in this ecosystem. But AI is not something relatively newer into the defense tech. It started with basic data analysis in early 2000s, helping military analysts process large amount of information. By 2010s, we saw a deployment of autonomous drones and advanced surveillance systems, providing a real-time 
threat detection. And real journey started in 2017 when Paul Merlecki founded the company and started working on Lattice AI platform. In 2018, Andrel secured its first major contract with US Custom and Border Protection. And by 2020, their valuation hit the billion dollar mark with significant defense contracts in the pipeline. Fast forward to 2022, Andrel's valuation has soared past $8 billion with their AI driven systems actively deployed in conflict zones like Ukraine, Russia, and Israel, Palestine. In 2023, they introduced the advanced autonomous combat drones and collaborated with NATO allies. Today, Andrew is worth more than $12.5 billion. Not too shabby for a guy who was building VR and gaming headsets less than 10 years ago. Using AI in defense means efficiency, precision, and safety. AI systems process data faster, hit targets more accurately, and keep the soldiers out of the harm's way. It's like really having a true big brother watching over your shoulders. But how exactly does Andrew's AI work in the military operations? So imagine this machine learning algorithms crunching data from gazillion sensor points to spot threats and make decisions. Neural network processing information faster than you can speak neural network, making the autonomous decision based on preset parameters. And Rel's tech like Lattice AI platform and Ghost Drones is rewriting the rules of engagement. Their innovation provide real-time intelligence and autonomous surveillance drastically improving mission success rates. The foundation of Andrew is Lattice AI. It's a weapon operating system that is the command center for the operators. Lattice allows the operation, usually just a single person, to control a complete fleet of drones, submarines, sentry towers, planes, you name the thing. All of these systems will then send the information back to Lattice AI and the operator will have a real-time view of what's going on. He can then decide whether he wants to neutralize the enemy or let it go by just clicking a single button. The impact of Andrew's disruptive approach is evident from real-world scenarios. From autonomous drones patrolling the borders to AI-driven surveillance systems detecting threats in real time, Andrew's technologies are revolutionizing how military operations are conducted. Their ability to deliver cutting-edge solutions quickly and efficiently makes them a formidable player in the defense industry. And Real is just not keeping up with the pace, they are actually setting the pace. Through rapid development, commercial tech integrations, scalable solutions, and unmatched agility, Andrel is defining what's possible for modern warfare. The future of defense is here, and it's being led by Andrel Industries. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.